Hi everyone, I am Shki Mutsuda, presenting my paper on behalf of my team members titled Discriminative Sampling of Proposals in Self-Supervised Transformer for Weekly Supervised Object Localization. Here is the outline. In this paper, we focus on localizing tower for surveillance that is useful for different purposes such as asset verification. Million of cell tower are being surveillanced globally for different purposes. However, manual cell tower inspection is very dangerous and costly because climbers has to climb tall towers with height ranging from 30 meters to 300 meters. Also, climbers may fall that leads towards serious injuries or even death. To deal with this issue, we can use localization model that guide the drone to fly around the tower and collect data for inspection. Here is the background on WSL. Class activation map was introduced to interpret the convolution neural network. Additionally, class activation map acts as a baseline for weekly supervised object localization that allow us to peek into the network. Most of the methods for weekly supervised object localization are a slight variation of CAM. Also, some methods use them as a pseudo label. To obtain CAM from a classification network, we have to replace last flattened layer with the global average pooling layer. During forward pass, we multiply the weights of the last layer with the output of the last convolution layer to produce single weighted average map that is known as activation map. Now come towards the common problem with the baseline methods. The main challenge with baseline methods for weekly supervised object localization is that they focus on discriminative areas because they always try to minimize the mutual information be between input and the corresponding classes. Additionally, these methods produce low resolution map and we have to interpolate them to overlay onto the original image. This leads towards blobby map that is very sensitive to the threshold and we have to, opti we have to search for the optimal threshold for each image to produce final map that is not feasible in real time applications. Here are some problems with CNN based methods. Most of the baseline methods for weekly supervised object localization is based on the class activation map that are extracted from convolution based network. But the problem with these methods is that they first detect the edges followed by detection of the object parts. At the last layer, the convolution model are able to detect the shape of the whole image. Due to this reason, we have to extract activation map from last layer. However, these kind of maps has low resolution due to the multiple convolution operation at each layer. Also, they focus on discriminative areas as they always try to minimize the mutual information between input and the output. To deal with these issues, transformer based methods for weekly supervised learning method has been proposed as they are able to detect different parts of the object in each layer. This image shows the class tokens from transformer trained in weekly supervised fashion using TSCAM method. As all of the tokens are unable to cover full object, so author of TSCAM has to take advantages of all map by aggregating them. However, averaging all of all of these attention map uh, may include the background areas that leads towards noisy and blobby maps. Here is a detailed view of class attention map extracted from transformer trend in weekly supervised fashion, where we have to take average of all map that leads toward noisy maps. Compared to this, Self-supervised transformer are able to accumulate the whole information about object in the last layer of the transformer. But there is no way to extract the best head. To deal with this issue, we propose our method to extract pseudo label from these class tokens obtained from self-supervised transformers. And then we use this pseudo label to train localizer that can generate robust maps with high resolution. No come towards our proposed methods, known as DIPS or discriminative sampling of proposal from self-supervised transformers. 
to deal with the above discussed issue we propose our method name dips for generating pseudo labels by sampling proposals from class token in self supervised transformers our main objective is to improve the maxbox accuracy along with the resolution of the map the generated maps are robust to different threshold values and maintain the same performance at a wider range of threshold for this purpose we use class token extracted from self supervised transformer to build pseudo label that help us to train our localizer in this way we can combine weekly and self supervised learning to improve the robustness of the localization maps here is our training flow over of our proposed methodology first we pass the input image through a transformer to obtain class token after this we applied also thresholding methods to obtain binary region corresponding to each connected region in the class token we draw bounding box around each connected binary region that help us to hide background region that are then passed to a classifier the classifier will help us to select top p best proposal and from them one proposal is randomly selected for harvesting foreground and background regions these pseudo labels are then used to calculate loss for the generated localization map in addition to this we also imply the classification loss by overlaying the generated activation map onto the input image and pass through a classifier to update the weights of the localizer no come towards our final section experimental results here are the results of our method compared to the baseline methods compared to the baseline our method produce very smooth localization map with same intensities all over the map in other words the generated map has very sharp boundaries and can cover the full object with high confidence similarly we also achieve state of the art quantitative performance compared to the baseline method as shown in the tables also our method achieve state of the art performance not only on the aerial images but also achieve competitive performance on the natural data set more specifically cube data sets for birds our method is able to cover the concerned object in each image with high confidence similarly quantitative results in the table shows that our method outperform the other method in term of maxbox accuracy v2 here are the class token that used to harvest pseudo label to train the localizer compared to these tokens our method perform very well and ignore all background regions that was highlighted in different class tokens we also done a sensitivity analysis to show that our method is not sensitive to the threshold for baseline method we have to find an optimal threshold for each image in the data set otherwise their accuracy will start decreasing as we increase the threshold and go goes towards zero as increase the threshold compared to this our method maintain the same performance over a wider range of threshold making it possible to deploy in real time applications thank you very much for your attention no any questions